ancient tree is special. But when ancient trees are clustered together, they become of even greater importance to wildlife. So what exactly is a veteran tree? Well, I'm sat on one now. It depends on the individual lifespan of the tree, but generally they're very old and they're likely to be pretty battered and missing bits. The heartwood will be declining. The older and craggier the tree, the greater the opportunities for wildlife diversity. Epping Forest is internationally important due to its very large number of ancient trees mainly oak, beech and hornbeam, and the rare insects, plants, bats and fungi associated with them. What makes ancient trees unique as a wildlife habitat is that they are full of dead and rotting wood and where there's wood decay, you get exceptionally species-rich communities. Now this ancient tree has been struck by lightning you can see a scar running down the trunk. Behind that scar, it's hollow, and it's being used by woodpeckers towards the top, and there's a really active blue tit's nest just above my head. Really lovely to see. Veteran trees come in all shapes and sizes. Some ancient trees may have water-filled hollows. Others may have plants growing on them or other plants using the trees for support. Many have hollow sections inside with mammals, birds and insects living inside the branches and trunks. So we've seen some incredible veteran trees today, gnarly green giants, some of which have been here centuries. Ecologically, they're a haven for wildlife and aesthetically, they're very beautiful and in my opinion at least, very much deserving of our respect and protection. The veteran trees here are so important that more than two thirds of the forest has been awarded designations for their protection. both a special area of conservation and an SSSI, a site of special scientific interest. <laughs>